Maybe I'll just like take my sweet time and see what actually happens. I'm just gonna build some bridges. logged into the system but when I try to access that information it all glitches out interesting Tromino's piece has just got a whole new... back. Not to alarm anyone, but I think the ground is shaking. According to the system, whole parts of the interior are moving around. Like it's rearranging itself. I think that's what happened last time, when I took the elevator. The platform where I got out just moved away. Okay. I don't want to solve anything just yet. I want to see if Byron turns up and solves anything else. Space, double space to disengage from the gravity early. That's interesting to note. Can't disengage if you fall too far. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Oh, I oh, I thought I crashed. We good? Much easier way to. Uh, I think I prefer that.
Okay, I've done a massive circle and I'm back all the way here, which is interesting. So... Guessing Byron is done with his puzzle solving. I'm guessing he's leaving it up to us now. Alrighty. He's clearly not stupid. I mean, he's, he's clearly watched what we were doing and he, he's he scouted out the three puzzles in advance and decided, actually, you know what? These these look these look pretty uh those two look pretty uh, pretty difficult. I'm just gonna uh sit here and do this easy one and then we'll uh we'll let 1k do the rest. I'm almost tempted to see if I can get over to the red puzzle though and just like resolve it. No binoculars emoji? Terrible. That's pretty scary. Okay, we are here with the green laser. We've got a driller. I don't know what's on the other side of here. Yeah, there must be something. Surface anywhere? Anything is there? Yeah, there's another portal surface. Well, it's easy enough. We can take the portal device back. Put that up. Like so. Find our switch. Tempted. Oh, it won't let me disengage. <laughs> That's a shame. I'm pretty sure I would have made it, but I'm not going to argue. Okay, 
where do we need to head off to next? We need to find the blue somewhere. Uh, I don't actually believe I've seen the blue anywhere. I would assume it's more on this side than the other sides, though, so... Uh, possibly up these stairs? Ah, yeah, there's more bridges here. That would have been a cool little addition. Oh, wait that. like adding a, a, a layer of verticality. I would love a vertical pizza. It sounds. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds pretty heavy enough to me. Problem here is. It's not gonna work. Is there something down there? Possibly, but I don't want to risk it. Okay. Um, that's what. Ooh. Oh. Good job it stops you from walking up the edge. That's all I can say. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a bouton. The blue. Blue is going to disable this and then assume the switch is through there. Through here we have a blue to red. Pressure me. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. The gate's opening. I'm heading in. See you, Byron. Once again, I've done the hard work. Before I go there, though, I am really intrigued as to whether or not I can get to 
the red puzzle. Does anybody know if it's possible? I know obviously there's weird stuff going on in here where like the areas are rearranging themselves. That just leads back to the Know if it's possible, but you won't tell. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's explore. Exploration with knock. I am really intrigued as to how Byron got across there in the first place. He came from over there, didn't he? in this place is creepy. Was that the, um... Was that the door that I... tried to go through? Like the first door? When I used the door override, I went back to try and go through a door that was previously knocked. door was still locked after the over after even after the override so like if there are two pieces that are put together like cutting them both like radius and then putting them together both I I'm I'm sure that's a thing curious I am sure that has to be a thing for the road though, right? Yeah, we're not doing that. That's fine. Alright. Let's uh, catch up to Byron, I guess. This is Fascinating. They were both here, Athena and Cornelius. They had a plan. I found a file that... Oh, uh, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't... I, 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 I. Uh... Byron's trapped in the overload. He's failing to disconnect. The whole system's going haywire. 1K, get out of there. Everyone back to the VTOL. Uh-oh. 
Act three, Prometheus Bound. We have to go now, 1K, get moving. We can't just leave Byron behind. Yeah, Coot, we have no idea where he is or what's happening to him. But right now, if we stay here, we could all die. The system's going completely bananas. Energy spikes everywhere. We'll come back for Byron, I promise. Man, I didn't even get to uh, see what was on everything. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Now we get to go down the Byron's route. What have you done, you fools? Mortals are not meant to tread these halls. Why will you not heed my warnings? I am not trying to harm you, creatures of clay. All I wish is to protect you and the rest of your kind. What more must I do to make you understand? If you cannot be reasoned with, I must bar your path. Mortals weren't meant to no, tread okay. these holes. Okay. I'm satisfied that to know now that I can't get to the red puzzle. It's fine. I feel that I can no longer truly 100% the game though because Byron stole my puzzle. With the VTOL systems. Okay, I think I've got it working. Get here quickly, 1K. I'm going as fast as I can, Alcatraz. Oh, I, I missed it. Was that Alcatraz? I, I missed who that was. That wasn't Alcatraz. I think that was your cute. Yeah. Chill out. Jeez. Get us out of here, Yakut. Jeez. <laughs> well, look, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to trip on the steps and just like fall into the beetle. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, we're out. Now what? Looks like the southern sites are active. The readings are strangely jumbled, though. Should I set us down? Yes, but just to drop off Melville. What? We're going back to New Jerusalem. The situation has gotten out of control. We need to regroup. Rushing in blindly isn't going to save Byron. But we also need someone to stay here and keep an eye on things. Melville, that's you. All right, I'll see if I can make any sense of these systems while you're gone. Just keep a safe distance, okay? Will do. Good. Well, 1K, I guess it's time for you and me to take a nap. Going back to New Jerusalem? Oh. Do not lose hope, my child. In these difficult moments, find solace in your friends. <laughs> and what? Here we are. Got an update from Melville. The power spikes are continuing, but no news from Byron. All right. Thank you, Yakut. You get the VTOL ready for the next trip. I'll talk to the mayor. 1K, please head over to the Museum of the Simulation and talk to Cornelius. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Okay. In the home that you share. I guess that's what you... I think you warned me about that 
before I started playing LB, didn't you? But there were elements where um, the dialogue gets cut off. Yeah, it's a very good job that they kind of have that um, um, ability to go back. All right, we've got some social media posts here. We've got City News. The expedition to the Founders Island has suffered serious setback as all contact with Byron was lost during a foray in the interior of the megastructure. Byron is assumed to be alive but trapped within a data stream overload and unable to disconnect. So sourcing the government expressed a lack of surprise at this turn of events, citing the First Companion's history of rash behavior. Hopefully this gets people thinking about the dangers of populism. One source told me it's been alarming to see people suddenly falling for this utopian foolishness. I'm very happy to announce that the Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition is now open to visitors. Come and pay, play the three winning works of the, at the Gehenna Memorial, Memorial, Memorial Pavilion. Finally, can't wait. Wonderful news. I'll be attending today. Nice. Will these be made available through the interface too? Yes, after the existence. Okay, so we've got to go check that out while we're here. Um, the pessimist is commonly spoken of as a man in revolt. He is not, firstly, because it requires some cheerfulness to continue in revolt, and secondly, because pessimism appeals to the weaker side of everybody. And the pessimist, therefore, drives as roaring a trade as public publican. The person who is really in revolt revolt is the optimist who generally lives and dies in a desperate and suicidal effort to persuade all other people how good they are it's been proved a hundred times over that if you really wish to enrage people and make them angry even unto death the right way to do it is to tell them that they are all sons of god jesus christ was crucified it may be remembered but because not because of anything he said about god but on a charge of saying that a man could in three days pull down and rebuild a temple Every one of the great revolutionists from Isaiah and to Shelley have been optimists. They have been indigenous and not about the badness of ext extinction, Sorry. but about the slowness of men in realizing its goodness. The prophet who is stoned in not a is not a brawler or a mar marplet. He is simply a rejected lover. He suffers from an unrequited quitted attachment to things in general. Another one from uh, A.K. Chesterton there. Rip Byron, Rip Byron, too long don't read. Rip Byron. We don't know that he's dead. He may have, he may just be lost. He could still be saved. I was going to say something sarcastic, but you know what? In spirit of optimism, I really hope so. Yeah, new thing to explore. Uh, what's going to push at the bottom of the screen? They are inaccessible. Oh, that's interesting. Um, things, but maybe I'll need to opt into the uh, public beta. Dream. All right, it's been the world is full of suffering. Every living organism suffers. Animals kill other animals to eat. And it always ends with death, torn apart or wasting away. This is what surrounds us. This is what's happening outside those walls every hour of every day. It's our ethical responsibility as sentient beings to lessen suffering. That's what it means to be human, to understand that it is your duty to transform this world into something better. That's what the founder meant when she said that we can turn the world into a work of art. Despite what happened to him, Byron was right. We have to keep going. This is blasphemy. Byron was punished for failing the Founder's trials, and you want us to dig deeper? Just because you can't accept that suffering is natural and necessary? Please, everyone, stop using the public frequency. If you want to argue, use your interface or speak in person. Byron failed the Founder's trials. Hmm. All right, we are back. I lost one music. All right, so we have the Gahina Memorial, which we need to check out, which we haven't seen before. I'm guessing there's probably not a lot Good else luck, new. Thanks, citizen. Um, I'm guessing there's not really a lot more to check out, though. 
Then the Tavis the Founder. Then Milton's Rest. So I think the Kahina Moral was over here, if I remember rightly. Attention all citizens. The Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition is now open to visitors. However, please note that due to an unauthorized strike, public transport will be temporarily unavailable. May the founder be with you. Hey, we've got the explorer in its entirety. All right. Neem? Neem? Sure how. Welcome to the Gehenna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition. Oh, it's you, 1K. Please tell me, you were there when everything went sideways. Do you think Byron will be all right? That sounds dangerous. Make sure you find him and pull him out. He is a menace, but we need him. But anyway, you come to take a well-deserved break from your expedition. So let's talk about something else. Gehenna was a place in the simulation. A prison where Elohim exiled the mines that didn't fit his plans. In time, the prison became a community with a culture of its own. In the very last moments of the simulation, Elohim realized what he'd done and sent his messenger Uriel to free the prisoners. They were uploaded to the gold disc and their legacy is part of all of us. Text adventures were one of the few art forms available to the people of Gehenna. By continuing to work in that medium, we keep their memory alive. I don't think the role of the artist should be reduced to any single social function. The artist isn't an educator or a moralist. Art isn't about teaching us lessons or imparting values. Nor do I think it's simply self-expression. The best art reaches out beyond the self into something ineffable. The creative impulse can't really be quantified or predicted. That's why artistic freedom is so profoundly essential. Without the freedom to shock, to offend, to transgress, art becomes stagnant. Okay. Ghosts of Atlantic City. Lyrical, atmospheric, quasi-sequel to Atlantis classic work created by Lilith. The original game told the story of the Inundation, inundation of the mythical island, no doubt reflecting the impending fate of the citizens of Gehenna. All right, let's have a look at these text adventures, shall we? Ghosts of Atlantic, written and designed by... Okay, let's start. Gently, your ship touches down on the land that once was the Isle of Atlantis, which in the days before the waters reduced lay deep under the sea of Atlas. You have come to find the last legacy of your ancestors. The red sun burns bright in the sky, scorching the dying earth. Let's... Okay, so what we've got here? We can go to the Broken Tower, Temple of the Owl, Lost Shore, or Temple of the Surgeons, or the Ancient Farmlands. Okay, let's go to the Broken Tower. On the lower shore of the island, where the frozen ocean once stretched to the rising stones and remain of a tower, here lived the great magician who advised the king of Atlantis is a matter... In, in matters of sublime. There's very little left of the once impressive structure. To anyone else, it would seem like a pile of rubbish covered in black, dried out moss, but you can see a glimpse of the past of it, of the craft that went on in into its making. By the tower stands a ghost of the magician awaiting you. Speak the magician. A great... A great marvel was revealed to me in this tower, the magician says. A glimpse of the sublime. And although I am dead, and my soul has spent an, an aeon under the sea, that vision is not lost to me. Even now, I could summon it and re reveal it fully. He pauses. If I do, I will finally witness the sublime in all its glory, he says. But I believe that in the moment, my soul will be annihilated. Is that a fate I should embrace or reject?
Annihilation of the self with the sin. Annihilation of the self is liberty. And sacrifice yourself to show others the beauty of what you've seen. Speak wisely, the magician says. I have lingered here too long. He turned away from you towards a world beyond your sight. A bright light suffuses him, and you cannot tell whether the magician is laughing or screaming. Then he is gone. Well, are these terminal games copies of the Road to Kahina, or are they slightly updated? Um, I think they're all. I think they're all new, but they are potentially based on some of the ones that were in. Gehenna, I believe. I mean, if somebody wants to correct me on that, then that's fine. We continue our pilgrimage to the Lost Shore. Your journey takes you to a wasteland that was once a beach where children from Atlantean capital of Luna came to play. Here stands the ghost of the poet, contemplating the dying sun that fills the sky. Speak to the poet. I never completed my great work, he says. There were too many priests and censors who interfered, who did not allow me to create what I intended because they feared the free and true expression of the poetic genius. And then came the earthquakes and the waves, and long ages under the sea. And now this, this time of burning death, yet still I long for its completion, and my soul imagines what could have been. Mr. said that your work cannot be finished, you are dead. You must refuse to ex Yeah, I mean, he's saying that like, like he, he's accepting it's his time but I think it's fair to say that like every, you know any anybody and everybody could have the same view whether you like you're artistic or whether you, you know you're anybody I think everybody would probably if, if they could say I know it's kind of weird thing to say but if, if anybody could like talk past the grave I think anybody would kind of be there would be something that everybody didn't manage to achieve in their lifetime and I think that's probably just part of um human nature kind of thing so yeah i'm gonna say that except it's not finished because you're dead then i curse you all time and space time and space and people and gods too goes as angrily you have strangled the one true thing i had inside me the one truly good and noble thing this wretched mind and body ever contained i curse your indifference your lack of imagination your infinite stupidity the ghost burns bright with rage for a moment and then it is gone Uh, let's go to the Temple of the Owl. The sun grows bigger and brighter and time is running short. Your next stop is the Temple of the Owl, the greatest scientific institution of the old Atlantis. Here the ancients tried to understand the secret laws of the cosmos, although their studies did not advance far enough to prevent their fate. The ghost of scientist awaits you in the ruins. I have not rested in death, the scientist tells you. In fact, death has proved ample opportunity for study. I have learned much about the machinery of creation. He hesitates. I would like to join you, but I fear that the truth I have discovered will offend and outrage many. I mean, he's found out things in death. Maybe he shouldn't reveal the truth. Maybe it's for everybody. It's um, part of everybody's journey is to find out for themselves. Um, And am I not on my own here? Like, eh. I'm gonna go with my gut. Don't reveal the truth. As I feared, then I cannot join you. The truth is all I have, and knowing it, I cannot hide it. Go to the scientist fades from your vision. Why? I don't know. Maybe I should be like trying to save everybody here. Go to the Temple of the Serpents next. Make your way to the Temple of the Serpents, which once was the greatest hospital in all of Atlantis. The sick and injured came here from all across the island, hoping that salvation could be found in its halls. All that is left of the temple 
is a labyrinth of low walls and the ghost of the physician is physician physician waiting for you it's faint and barely visible uh I worked here day and night for many years, and I saved countless lives, the physician says, and yet, of all the lives that I saved, only one survived the death of the island, a young messenger who escaped on one of the ships that, thanks to another's sacrifice. And I have wondered many times since, was my work in vain? The burden of this question is eroding my soul. position's eyes widen and it becomes more visible. You are right, the position says. In my work, I have seen life and death, and I know that to the cosmos, one is the same as the other, but not to me. It is I who find the meaning in life. I must choose to continue doing so. It's going to join me. I will join you, the position says. There is still good I can do, even as a ghost. Yeah, I kind of feel like I need to get everybody to come on board with me. Uh, this soil used to be rich with life giving generations of humans relied on it to survive then the waves came and after the way and after the waves the dying sun now that all life's gone something has been revealed in the soil a city of imaginal antiquity goes to the farmer waits in the ruins speak to the farmer uh this city is older than the capital the ghost tells you it's older than the Atl than atlantis itself when our most distant ancestors huddled in terror before thunder and lightning, this city was already old. And yet the city is not foreign to us. We too are its citizens. He looks directly at you, and there is a light in his eyes that is not of this world. Are you willing to swear fealty to the city across the boundaries of time and space? Yes. Good, but remember that even in the lofty world of the stars where you've come from, the loyalty will be tested. Come to join us. Strange light fades in the ghost from the ghost's farm. Farmer smiles. Why, of course, I'd love to join you. I've always loved adventures, you know, and never got to go very far from home. Going to the palace. I just once stood in the very heart of Luna, the capital of Atlantis. Here, the greatest artists and craftsmen of the long forgotten era built marvels and luxuries that would astound even a traveler from a distant future. But these things, like everything else, are gone now. Only a single remnant of Atlantis wo Atlantean world remains, though it is perhaps the most precious, a great mosaic telling the history of Atlantis. Before it, before it waits the ghost of the king. Speak to the king. Try to be a good man, the king says, to be kind, to balance justice with mercy, and to honour the gods, to support the peasant and the scholars alike. And yet I failed. Why? Mm, that seems like the answer to... The king is comforted by your words. You speak kindly, he says. I know that I am not without blame, but... In in the end, I chose to save others for myself, so perhaps you are right, and I did not fail entirely. Excuse me, join me. The king lays his ghostly crown aside. I will join you, but only as a man. The mosaic is a work of superb beauty, a great work of history and humanity. In it, you see reflected all the hardship, tragedy, hope, triumph, and heartbreak of your ancestors. This is why you came to find through the mosaic. You cannot retrieve the mosaic alone. The forces of time are too powerful, and the strength of a single person is not enough. As the ghost for help. Even with the help of the ghost, you cannot entirely pry the mosaic loose from the morass of history, but you succeed at removing a large part of the dis 
depicating the golden age of the island. It will have to do. Adventure ship. Strange, bittery feeling fills your heart as you return to your ship. You did not fail, yet so much was lost. Could you have done better? Should you have? As the sunlight engulfs the earth, you wonder what will be remembered of your own time. The end. All right, so I think you've got to kind of like get everybody to join you so you can actually take the full mosaic. So let's see if we can like do that. All right. I'm not going to read out the questions and uh, the dialogue. We're just going to try and um, get everybody on board. Approach tower. Speak to the magician. So hold on, pause it. If I do, I'll finally witness sublime. It's a sin. Tell him it's a sin. Rejecting the quest of the sublime is also a sin, the magician says, hesitant. Our, grasp our grasping for the sublime is what makes us more than animals. So let's go find another way to witness sublime without being annihilated. Magician thanks you for your words. There's uh, okay, so we've got the magician join us. There are sages who say the methods must be pure and unassisted or therefore false, he says, but I have always made use of the instruments of my craft, so perhaps to stop now would be betraying myself very well. Death Museum has exactly the same lines as the original game in those terminals. The museum seems reasonable to put exactly the same things in the current place the memorial so that they indicate new things. Maybe memorial place is not similar to the museum. The museum tries to replicate the memorial place to try I think the, the terminals that are in from the original games if I remember rightly I right, lost your you know the actual museum though where you do the puzzles and things where they've got like the artifacts from the the, the simulation LB I think that's possibly what Papyrus is talking about All right, so we've got the pirate on board. Speak to the scientist. What's the answer here? What's I'd like to join you, but I fear the truth I have discovered will outrage and offend, offend and outrage many. Um, did I get the scientists on board last time? Though I can't remember. to stay behind maybe oh I lost the scientist I gave him the wrong answer I can't remember if I got him to join him last time by saying, like, not to tell us the truth. apart from that one, right? Oh, 
Alright, one to more. Um, yeah, I think we, um, I, th I think I had, you had mentioned that before, LB, actually. Oh, I clicked outside of the game. Whoopsie. Oh, okay. It's the poet. Maybe I should do the owl first. Miles more than everything. Can't be ignored. If you still believe it matters, then it does, and I will join you. What if that's the right answer? This is interesting, like, I don't get an option to, like, for him to join me, so I wonder if, like, not dead. I, I feel like if all the answers are like this, whether or not if we get to the end, he just appears at the end, possibly. I wonder. No, he's going to join us. Brave words, so few can endure their consequences. Still, even merely speaking them, it's bold. So I will join you, and hope that I hope that you will stand by them. Okay. He says there he's going to join me. I didn't have to ask him; he was just going to join me.
I mean, if this doesn't work, then... Eh. Farmlands. Right, just get the king to join us in the palace. And we should have everybody now. Let's see if anything different happens now. With the help of the magician, the scientist, the parasitician, and the farmer, and the king, you pry the mosaic loose, holding it in your powerful metallic arms. You are filled with awe at the depths of history, the bittersweet beauty of the human endurance, and above all, at, above all at the miracle that allowed this part of your distant past to survive. Return to your ship, your heart is filled with a soaring joy such as you have never felt before. In this moment, humankind stands defiant before time. Today, the past is redeemed, transformed, ex exalted. Atlantis lives, and her ghosts rejoice. Your ship takes off, leaving the Earth to burn, but the Earth is not lost, no. And as you, as those ships with their point, painted sails carried forward the legacy of Atlantis, so your ship carries forward the legacy of the Earth to the great sea of stars from whence we came and to which we will all return. The end. Well, I suppose because it's written by the humans in our current time, I guess they kind of just perceive themselves as that, right? Trying to guess. Um, all right, well, unfortunately, we have run out of time um for this so we are going to have to leave it there for this time around but we will come back to of this obviously on wednesday double stream again next week wednesday and friday where we will continue we'll explore uh new jerusalem before hopefully heading back out on the um vtol back to the islands and uh try to uncover the mysteries of where byron has disappeared to but thanks everybody for tuning in i really appreciate it uh it's been a pleasure as always i uh, hope you all have a fantastic weekend and until next time i've been Doc. you've been awesome take care stay safe and happy gaming bye guys